good Friday afternoon, everybody. August 3rd, 2018. We continue to roll on. Whoa. I just, like, rolled in there. Hello, everybody. Jay Craw's here, ready to uh, rock your socks, flying solo. Guess what? Starting next week, Preston will be here on Fridays. That's right. But no other day. He'll be back. We're working on some new stuff. You're going to have to stay tuned for that. But you get me for most of the week, and then you get pressed on Friday. So uh, we've got some changes coming, though. Right, right, Andrew? How's it going out there? It's going. It's going? It's going. If you tell me about Utica Fest one more time, I am going to probably go. <laughs> Utica, that's your thing this weekend, huh? Well, it's the only thing going on for me, so that's where I'm going. Utica Fest. Could have went to Wana Fest last weekend. Yeah, I don't live by Wanaki. <laughs> Well, if you stay here in Fitchburg, you can come to the crime prevention picnic on Saturday. There you go. Just saying. But fine. You don't want to do that? <laughs> Didn't say it wasn't. <laughs> When's your big shindig for the fire department down in Cambridge? Uh, it's the 8th of September. I'm just letting the folks know uh, in what you know into our personalities and mm -hmm. into, our, into our lives, mm -hmm. opening that door. Oh, good. But uh, <laughs> that's in case you get outside of Fitchburg. But while you're in Fitchburg and while you're tuning into the show, we'll tell you what's coming up in Fitchburg. Yeah. 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 We got a show for you today, Andrew. Let me tell you. We're, yeah. We got some good headlines to, to get through. I'm not, I can't tell you. You got oh. to stay tuned for that. Oh. You do know this, though, just in case you missed it. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, we've got some great stories from this past week that we'll uh, take a look back on. And then uh, previewing that crime prevention picnic this weekend, National Night event started probably across Dane County in the state yesterday mm -hmm. and it kind of just continues on now through the weekend so right um, sweet it's like med flight's gonna be flying everywhere like good thing there's two of them three 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 well it's a backup I gotta take that one out no there's one uh, based in Iowa County now yeah so two one in Iowa County and one and then one in Madison and, and then they're back up oh well, yeah they're that's why I said they're back up that's they're not gonna take out it's a backup there's only two whatever are you a med flight expert now? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. <laughs> Are you working for med flight now? Yes, yes, I am. Have you had training for med flight? Didn't think so. Not recently. <laughs> <laughs> but I digress. We did uh, get training on you. Ever those self propelled uh, CPR machines? Mm -hmm. The Lucas devices? Yeah. Yeah. One of the places where uh, where I'm still uh, trying to keep my license up, they're, uh, they're mm -hmm. going to it. Yeah, we've had those for a couple years. Mm -hmm. a year we should talk Probably to Fitrona, year. see if they got them i don't know if they got area. them yeah no. it's pretty sweet hey was that who oh i my think God, it's the mystical scott <laughs> hang on he just passed through hang on he we'll has to pass <laughs> he has to go past to be oh he's going around oh unbelievable man unbelievable that, that was a first that was pretty good that was a good tease press is gonna be so upset wait he moved the foam. Oh it's still gosh. in my screen. Oh, there he goes. He's trying to sneak. There he goes. There goes Scott. He is real, ladies and gentlemen. That was somebody. <laughs> we call him Scott. We call him Scott. <laughs> Wowza. All right, let's <laughs> let's get back to it. Wow. Squirrel? That's that's where we're at today. Uh, crime prevention picnic uh, coming up this weekend, folks. Yep, that's right. That's on uh, Saturday, tomorrow, August 4th from uh, 12 to 3 p.m. at McKee Farms Park. Of course, you're going to enjoy uh, some uh, vehicle displays, some refreshments, and your chance to talk with officers. Great chance to uh, talk with them. Tell them what's going on. Ask them questions. Every time I see any officer from Fitchburg, I pick their brain pretty good. So, yeah, they're, uh, they're all great. Cost is free. Stop on by. I'm going to be out there tomorrow. I'll be filming this, and we'll bring you uh, the highlights of uh, that right here on Monday's show. Uh, so you're not going to want to miss that. All right. You're thinking about recycling uh, some batteries, maybe some uh, inkjet print uh, cartridges, things like that. You know, you can bring those right here to the city hall. Instead of getting them in the landfill, yeah, come to uh, the city hall lobby where they're recycling uh, uh, these great things. There's a recycling bin uh, in a convenient place to drop off recycling items. The lobby is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, Andrew, so you can stop by anytime you want to. Awesome. It's right here at 5520 Lacey Road. I see people utilizing that. And so. they just put out, this is really cool, mm -hmm. they put out a, a new thing, a board. We should okay. have taken a picture of this. Okay. You know, we are a media company. Well, that's fine. We, we you, They have a board, and okay. it has all the different types of things they collect on it now. Nice. Rechargeable batteries, non-rechargeable batteries, cell phones, inkjet printer cartridges, eyeglasses, and hearing aids. Everything. <laughs> 
You got it. And more. And probably more. Yeah, well, we know during the holiday season they mm-hmm. uh, collect those uh, holiday lights, lights and all that lights, stuff. Yep. So, yeah, pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I'll go and uh, go to be recycling instead of ending up in the landfill. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, for all you uh, folks out there looking for jobs, pay attention to these next two stories, maybe even three. We've got some good ones for you. First off, Oregon School District. They hiring. They hiring. Do you have a passion for working with young children? Play Crew is a uh, preschool playground uh, ages 3 to 5 that meets 8.30 a.m. to 10 o'clock a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursday mornings beginning in September. Play Crew is looking for creative and organized instructor who loves facility age uh, appropriate uh, f- was that facilitate age appropriate and engaging games, activities, stories, songs, etc. If you're interested, you got to make contact to Jackie below. We'll get that link posted up to you so you can't miss out on that opportunity. And then uh, health fair, uh, a health care job fair. Let me be straight with that on that one. This is uh, Thursday, August 9th, 3 to 6 p.m. You want to get in the health care field, Andrew? Well, here's your chance. Security officers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? No, they have security officers there. CNAs, RNs, health unit coordinators, retail sales reps, child care teachers, food service workers, housekeepers, environmental things. It's amazing. <laughs> I said that in a commercial this summer. Uh, yeah, Thursday, uh, August 9th. And if you can see this, the partners, this at the top there, mm-hmm. UW Health, uh, Meritor, uh, was it Unity Point Health now, Meritor? Yep. And uh, St. Mary's or SSM Health. SSM Health. So the whole whole gang is going to be there. Sweet. And uh, is at the Urban League, Greater Madison. So mm-hmm. stop on by. It's time. It's time. Get a job. Awesome. All right. Uh, another uh, great event coming up. It's the Black Women's Wellness Day. Uh, I posted this up on our Facebook page this morning. The Foundation for Black Women's Health, uh, Black Women's Wellness, uh, for the 10th anniversary. You're going to want to join them, they're saying, uh, for this uh, great event. You're meeting at the Lion Energy Center on Saturday, September 22nd from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., along with 500-plus guests from across the country, state, and county. Find that one to be Awesome. Connect, learn, grow, and create solutions for personal and community well-being. This is going to be a great event. Mission is $40, $50 after July 31st. Oh, well, it's $40 now. My bad. Seniors, age 62 and older, is 20 bucks. Students, ages 13 to 21, 25 bucks. And you still, if you're interested in uh, being a vendor at this place, you can do that as well. Get yourself signed up. All right. I know that we weren't going to talk about fall stuff for a while, but... This is a good fall event coming up. The Promega Fall 2018 Art Showcase. Yeah, it's coming. Wanted you to make sure you get this on your calendar. September 18th, 3.30 p.m. at uh, the Biopharmaceutical Technology Center, 5445 East Cheryl Parkway. Come on by. It's going to be awesome. And it's featuring some great, uh, great artists here. Uh, the Promega Fall Art Showcase will feature work from the Queen of Willie Street. That's pretty cool. Our work from Traveling VSA Wisconsin exhibit will also be featured. I've seen some billboards for that. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, this will run from September 18th through December 31st. So what does that mean? The spring one now? you got to get down there and see it before uh, time runs out. So, yeah, and that gallery is open 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. All right, last but not least, for all you uh, parents out there looking for a way to uh, – Maybe teach your kids about weather. I found that I just found this. I <laughs> you, don't, <laughs> you don't ask me a lot of questions. <laughs> I just found this thing. This is great. I love this thing. So uh, this was I found this on Ready Wisconsin. Uh, this is this is what it says here. It's, it was National Coloring Book Day, and uh, if you want to learn about preparedness and weather safety, check out this great coloring book from our partners from the National Weather Service and FEMA. It's Owl Sky Worn Weather. <laughs> prepare, or then they also have one with Prepare with Pedro as well. But uh, either way, I, I paged through this thing. It's pretty cool. I'm thinking about printing it off for my daughter. And as you probably guessed it for me too. What do you think, Andrew? Get uh, get on board on this one? Yeah, it's a pretty sweet looking coloring book. I like it. Why, but, Why not get weather awareness well, it's a in there? Nice way to teach kids. Yep. And uh, still have some fun with it too, so. Severe weather, yes, it's scary, but, uh, you know, you can share with your kids. Be prepared. 
It's all we ask, right? All right, that does it for your headlines. Coming up next, we're opening up the Fitchburg Digest. Well, just in case you missed it, we do that on Fridays here on Talking Fitchburg. We had some great stories this week. You're going to stay tuned for that. We'll be right back. You're watching Talking Fitchburg. Whoa.